Here we have a Nintendo Switch that came in for no power. We already disassembled the board and let's take a look. Right off the bat, I see a missing inductor here. I do not know if you have anything missing here. Let me grab a donor board. Oh yeah, we do. One, two. We have two missing components here. And we have one missing component here. So far we have four missing components. We have one missing component here. We have one missing component here. I mean, what is this? I do not understand why the components were removed and never put back. We do see signs of flux. What else? This may very well be a waste of time. <laughs> so we have a blob here and that blob is shorting out with whatever component is under it and look at this mess here wow we have how many missing components one two three four five six seven possibly seven missing components let me take a look at a donor board yeah one two three four five six seven and we have another blob here. The P13 was never changed. But we do see signs of flux here. So, I don't know. What should we do? Should we proceed to replace the components and hope for the best? Or what should we do? Let me take a look at the LCD connector. And it looks clean. Let's proceed. I'm going to replace all those missing components and see what happens. And let's grab our donor. Let's grab this one. Actually, I grabbed the wrong one. this one here now we need to replace that inductor and I do not have one on the donor board we do have those in stock and we're gonna post them on the website soon I mean, maybe that switch was bought off eBay and the person selling it, he sold it for parts and he used it as a donor. He removed all those components and used that board as a donor because the board was initially not working and maybe it was not fixable. Who knows? Maybe I'm just wasting time here. But for the sake of this video, that's the only reason I'm working on this. Maybe we got lucky. And what else? We have one missing capacitor here. And also one here. These are bypass capacitors. They should not affect the functionality of the switch, but while at it, why not replace them?
So this area is done. If you plug the charging cable, what do we see? Twelve volts at zero point two. And the screen is flashing. We want to see 12 volts and we want to see it switch to 9 volts. Right now it's stuck at 12 volts at 0.2 amps. So we have a problem. And it's flashing. 12 volts off. 12 volts off. It's not even switching to 9 volts using this mechanic station. If you are using 15 volt charger, then it's different. But I'm using a 12 volt charging station and I can easily tell. If it switches to 9, it's working. If it doesn't switch to 9, it's not working. Right now it's stuck at 12 and it's going on and off. And the charging rate is very low, 0.1 amps. And that's why I love this charging station. I get a lot of information, or I'm used to it reading the numbers when troubleshooting an Nintendo Switch. And while we are here, why not do a quick measurement at the BQ area? And look at this. We have a short here. And the short here is likely due to this area here. Do we have a short here? And we do. We also have a short here. So one, two, three, four are short into ground. What about this one? This one, no. This one, no. So one, two, three, four. The problem is likely due to that chip, which we're going to have to replace. But let me finish off replacing the components on the back and getting rid of all the solder blobs that we found. I mean, if that switch works, I'm going to call it a miracle fix. We are working in the dark. You cannot squeeze too much on the tweezer. And you just have to know how much pressure to put. And just one more. All right, let's just give this area a bit of hot air. good
And now we're gonna see where that short is coming from. The short on BQ. We have a short on this capacitor. And we said the short here is likely due to this area. And we did confirm that we have a short here. One, two, three, four. Four caps are shortened to ground. Let's remove it and see if we still have a short. Right now we do not know if our BQ chip is good, if our M92 chip is good. But we're gonna have to take care of business one step at a time. All right, so do we still have a short? Meter in continuity mode. I mean meter in diode mode. And the short is gone. See, the short is gone. Let's replace the chip. So what I think happened is the person who previously worked on this switch deemed it a no fix. And then he started to use the board as a donor, removing parts. And then he sold it on eBay for parts. The person bought it on eBay and he sent it over to us in hopes that we can fix it. Usually I do not accept repairs in this condition. It's a 50-50 chance at this point. Nothing is guaranteed. Just add a tiny bit of flux and we're gonna reflow. And that's it. We reflow the chip. It's soldered on nicely and all we have to do is test. But before we test, let's check and see if we still have a short on the BQ area. We should not. No, we do not. Voltage drop is 0 0.29. We're going to connect the battery. USB-C charging cable. And what do we have? We have nothing. We have nothing. Oh, here. What's going on? We did everything right and we soldered all the missing components. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over the max chip one more time. Maybe something is wrong there. Let's plug the battery and see, did that change anything? Twelve at 0 0.6, we wanted to switch to nine volts. So we did a good thing. Right now it's charging at 12 volts, 0 0.6 amps, but we wanted to switch to nine volts and over one amp. It's not doing that. Right now, 12 volts at 0 0.6 amps is not good. A lot of things could cause the charger to show 0 0.6 amps at 12 volts. That's the same as 15 volts, 0 0.45 amps, or 15 volts at 0 0.48 amps. It's not good. CPU can cause that problem. M92 chip can cause that problem. Right now, since we did not replace the M92 chip, let's go ahead and do it. But if I do change it and it does not fix the problem, then we're gonna deem this console a no fix. And the problem would most likely be a CPU issue. If it doesn't work, all that work for nothing. And what am I doing? Where is the microscope? Hmm. 
Now this is a brand new chip. I did solder it on another Nintendo Switch that did not work, so I pulled it back off. And we're gonna use it here. Twelve volts, zero point six amps. Is it gonna switch to nine volts? And uh, no, it's not. It's not. The problem is most likely a CPU issue, and I know this from experience. And uh, <laughs> at least we tried, right? If it wasn't for this video, I would not have worked on this board. But I did this for you. That is the reason why I do not work on those boards. Because you waste time and then it doesn't work. We're going to still get paid for our repair attempt. But that's nothing compared to the time that we spent working on this. And in the same amount of time, I could have done two or three other devices. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll do something else in the next one.